Hello fellow music nuts, it's me, Cobby, with another personal spin and today I am going to be reviewing uh, Young Americans by David Bowie which is an interesting album because he went from being like a glam rock rock star dude to sort of releasing a, I don't know, it's like a funk disco, excuse me, funk disco soul album um it's the it's an interesting album because it has two really good songs on it which are the title track and fame the album starts with the title track young americans and ends with fame and so it's kind of bookended by these two for want of a better word hit singles um which is both a strength and a weakness it's a strength because you instantly remember those two songs um it's a weakness because the rest of the album feels a little bit sort of well for me it felt a bit sort of lethargic um you have win which is kind of an elegant little ballad with some um a, a saxophone dweeps in it like i i i describe it kind of like freak it's like a fragrance on top of the music um and bowie's crooning and it's it's full of gospel backing vocals and stuff but it, it never really it doesn't quite live up to what he was trying to achieve i don't think i don't think anyway um it's not quite as glamorous as, as i think he was trying to make it um and then we go on to fascination which sort of picks things up and again it's a good song um with fast tempos and it's quite dynamic um and it's got a driving drum and bass pattern like the interplay on this album the drum and bass interplay is really good um and then but then it goes to the next song right which is kind of down tempo dance tune i can picture people like being on a dance floor in suits sort of dancing slowly with their uh partner um but it does have some very lush saxophone in it um and staccato like wiki 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 type guitar <laughs> um chords and things in it um it's also got the catchy little sort of play refrain that plays on the word right um that's difficult to explain uh but it sort of karen continues in this vein of sort of mid to slow tempo sort of tempos and um then it ends with fame which is really good like really good it's just got that bass line that goes do 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 and 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 that alone with the drums is really good um for me i think what lets the album down believe it or not is the production um yeah it's glitzy and glamorous and it's, it's you know it's it's clean and polished and everything sort of but it sort of sucks the life out of the songs um it, it, it's too sterile even for the 70s um i mean it would be sterile by today's standards but it, it's to me it sounds quite sterile and another thing um kind of the the sort of backbone of funk and soul is the drums and the bass and they're supposed to be sort of quite prominent in the mix and i found uh that they're not on the young americans album um, they're kind of pushed back. The snare drum's quite soft. It sort of sounds like he was playing with brushes, but I don't think he was. And uh, the bass isn't is all right, but it doesn't have the the, the drum sound to back it up. Um, you can hear the drums. I mean, they're they're there, but they they don't have that snap that would give it that drive, even on the slower songs. And I think that for me is what lets the album down. Um, it's bookended by two great songs. But because of the production, the songs in the mid, the rest of the songs kind of, they're good, but they lack drive. And, and for me, that kind of lets the album down. And I think it's telling, actually, that Bowie moves on pretty much straight after this album to something different. I mean, Station to Station is kind of said to be like in the similar vein. But if you listen to it, it's actually not. It's kind of more of a prog, funk, rock ambient album um everyone knows now that he was on cocaine and stuff at the time um 
but I think what Bowie does best is chameleon music. He he doesn't do best when he just sticks to one type of music. Um, I find his best work is when he's mixing everything up and he's not trying to sound like anyone else. I'm not sure who he was trying to sound like on this album, but I don't know. It, it, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it but it clearly Tony Visconti hadn't ever really mixed this kind of music before or something. I don't know. It just lacks energy, even on the excuse me, even on the energetic songs. So for that reason, I'm afraid I'm only going to give it seven out of ten drums. Seven out of ten drums. Right. That was my review of Young Americans by David Bowie. I have been Cubby. This has been my personal spin on Young Americans. If you like my reviews and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. I will be doing reviews throughout the week and obviously for a long time, like many, many years, hopefully, I because I enjoy talking about music, basically. Um, so if you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I will be back soon. Goodbye.